So this is a part three of my uh, do-it-yourself uh, milliometer. Uh, this time I'm going to look at some uh, low resistance measurement of a solid copper wire and also look at some of the offsets that are possible in the instrumentation amplifier which are the three LM317 which I have inside this, uh, uh, in inside this instrument. So we'll, let's look at that in detail and see how that affects the readings. Here's the setup to do a low resistance measurement um, of a very thick copper wire as you can see this wire here is uh, very solid uh, barely bendable it's number four uh, the diameter is 0.2 inches uh, AWG4 uh, length is 1.6 meters or 1.58 meters to be exact and uh, right now I've shorted the Kelvin clamps uh, as best as I could the contact resistance over there is critical so I'm going to look at the value that the meter reads with this setup uh, I'm going to do a bunch of measurements um, and get the min max values some averaging as well so let's start that <clears throat> So this is the residual offset of my meter and uh, the value is in the order of uh, 0.16 or 0.1 or 0.2 uh, milliohms. So when you're measuring something like a 1 to 2 milliohm resistance, you have to be pretty careful. Uh, even my zero offsetting is not going to uh, help too much. It's going to be uh, a fair significant portion of the value of the resistance that you're trying to measure. So I'm going to take some more readings and then um, come back to uh, calculate the average and I will make a note of that. Okay, so I've got a bunch of readings. Let's take a look at that now. So the minimum is 0.14 148, 14822 millivolts. The maximum is uh, 0 0.25254 millivolts. And the average is uh, 0 0.216281 millivolts. And I have 35 readings, so that's probably a good sample size. So now I'm going to do the measurement on the actual resistance. Here's the Kelvin clamps now connected to the two ends of the of this uh, copper wire. And now I'll start taking the readings on the meter. So I'm doing a slow uh, six digit measurement uh, that's about 100 power line cycles so that will give me a fair amount, 100, fair amount of averaging. Um, so the numbers look fairly tightly spaced, uh, not too far off from each other so that indicates I have a fairly clean noiseless system. <clears throat> So I'm going to continue the taking readings and I will come back. Okay, so let's take a look at the readings I've got so far. So the minimum is 1.29164. 1 1.29164. Maximum is 1.41002. <coughs> Average 1.36148 millivolts or milliohms and I have 37 readings. So it seems like a similar number of readings for the zero as well as the actual measurement. So if I now uh, compute the difference, uh, since as a positive offset, I have to subtract the 0.216281 from this. So here are the results of the measurements I did on this uh, long piece of uh, solid copper wire. So to just recap some of the information that is uh, 
required to do the calculation. Uh, the copper conductivity is the main thing, which is uh, assume 16.7 nano ohm meter, which works out to 59.88 uh, mega siemens per meter. Temco is 0.393% uh, per degree centigrade. The room temperature was 21. Uh, this nominal temperature is 20 degrees Celsius for this Temco. Uh, length is 1.57. I took out one centimeter on each end because I was uh, probing about half a centimeter from the end of the of that uh, copper uh, wire. Diameter is uh, 0.204 inches. It works out to 0.005816 meters. Wire cross section area was calculated to be 2.108. 10 to the minus 5 meter square resistance of that came out to be at 20 degrees Celsius 1.2434 milliohms and if you uh, adjust for room temperature it's slightly higher 1.2483 milliohms <clears throat> so the meter offset uh, which uh, we calculated earlier was 0 0.21628 uh, milliohms and the copper wire reading was 1.36148 milliohms so the corrected resistance turns out to be 1.1452 that is the difference between these two and the error is uh, 0.1031 milliohm so that works out to 8.26 percent considering there are so many sources of error one being of course i don't know the exact copper conductivity for this material the diameter could be off very very slightly i think the length is probably accurate um, and of course, the contact resistance plays some role in there, and of course, uh, any other sources of error which I may have neglected. 8.26% is the error at uh, for this fairly very small resistance, 1.3, uh, 1 1.1, 1 1.2 milliohm in that region. I don't think I'll ever measure anything that small. Uh, most shunt resistances are uh, at least 10 times more or even larger than that. So I'm pretty happy with the result. So in the following measurement, I'm going to be measuring the instrumentation amplifier offsets. That is the three generic LM324 op amps in that quad package. So they are not very, you know, well controlled offsets. So, you know, the main reason we have the offset cancellation is to remove the offset of that amplifier, which has a gain of 10. The LTC um, uh, low offset amplifier is the one that cancels it. And I'm looking at the output node of that, uh, of that amplifier, the LTC, which holds the offset on the capacitor. So let's look at that now. I was also curious about the offset that was being held on the capacitor for the offset cancellation circuit and um, I'm probing that right now on the capacitor and uh, that offset uh, as read by the meter is minus 5.46 millivolts that means the offset that is in the entire chain is plus uh, 5.4 whatever millivolts and that is again fairly stable. I did the same measurement yesterday and it hasn't changed. So the offset is fairly stable um, and I actually switched out different uh, LM324 chips over here since I have a socket. This is the LM324 and uh, I was able to see different offsets and um, at the end of the day uh, the final measurement did not change more than one milliohm on a one ohm resistor. So the offset cancellation does uh, work as expected. In some of the cases I saw like uh, plus 19 millivolts on that node or plus 16 millivolts in two different chips which means that the offset was negative in those cases. Uh, in this case I'm actually measuring uh, the same copper wire and, not, um, and this is the offset that is being held on that capacitor and it's again fairly stable once it's settled down. If this offset were not uh, calibrated out, uh, I would see that reading basically plus the actual reading which would be whatever the offset plus the value that is being read. So it would be like 6 milliohms or 7 milliohms in this case. Or if I had a 20 millivolt offset in the other chip, I would see 20 minus uh, or 20 plus the actual reading. So I think uh, the offset cancellation is very very important and it has to be stable. So um, based on the fact that I did a couple of measurements over a couple of days and it's still reading that same value, it shows um, these chips are stable, but uh, again, temperature and other things, good drift could affect, uh, could affect the actual value. So to conclude this video, I'm going to present uh, data for three different LM324 chips. This time I'm measuring a one ohm resistor, so-called one ohm. It's not exactly one, but 
not interested in the actual value for this thing. It's just a relative measurement. And so with the first one, uh, I got minus 5.45 millivolt offset on that node uh, at the output of the LTC1049. And uh, that is the chip I'm currently using for my uh, for the my final device. So the actual value the meter gave me on the on the 34401A multimeter was 1028.3 uh, millivolt, or that is uh, equivalent in milli ohms. And uh, if it was uncorrected, it would be 1033.8 uh, because the five millivolt, five and a half millivolt offset. And the other two readings you can see our 1028.0 and the last one 1027.2. So these readings are within 1.1 milli ohm of each other. Very, very uh, accurate or 0.1% uh, given a one ohm resistor. So if I hadn't corrected for that, it would be 23.8 ohms variation. And that would be basically a 2.3% variation, which would be uh, unacceptable, I think. So this concludes the milliometer project. I hope you enjoyed the series and uh, hopefully I can make some improvements for the next version. Still working on those and thinking about them. Thank you.